welcome to Paxa Rubiana here from the Upper Danube Valley. You have seen already the Drina Valley, you've seen the Drin Valley, <laughs> and many other places I showed you already, but I didn't show you the Danube Valley. I will do my best to show you this beautiful part of Austria now. And I will now be careful in this village. As always, driving carefully is key and then to show you that beautiful place and they are making, I'm not SMSing at least, yeah. here is wine, I think that's beautiful and here you see a lot of sun, the sun is setting, I'm driving west into NATO Germany and here it's beautiful landscape, great farming land and very fertile. A lot of Albanians have come here to work in agriculture and more should be coming here. Don't go to the channel and die while crossing while Mrs. Braverman is waiting for you to be dead. This is what the UK has in store for you. But here of course it's middle class life, it's hard work in the agriculture sector, but you can live and you will live and not the Bangladeshi British woman killing you in the transition and calling it an invasion. Yes, I have now the papers ready for my next initiative. This is the people's petition, the public petition for joining the, also for opening the Austrian labor market for all Albanians. I'm somewhere here on the way to Engelhardt's Zell and I will promote of course here now uh, the end of Russia at the Danube Commission. That's very important for me. Passau, Engelhardt's Zell. I'm not sure that this is the only way. There should be also a road along the Danube. But I think soon I will be, after these mountains, I should be back at the Danube. And that will be good. You have seen the Danube already in my video on Linz. Linz at the Danube, obviously. And now we are heading in this neutralized territory. And then NATO backed safety in Germany. And of course it makes a difference because the people then always ask why we are neutral and then the Austrians think they have a special way for peace or they are more moral because they are here yeah, solar, that's good. Where solar is, it's good. The Austrians are good people and especially the Western Austrians, they were forced into that neutrality because we wanted to liberate uh, us from the Soviets because uh, northern, um, the parts north of uh, the Danube were occupied by the Soviets until 55. And of course it was better to get rid of them. And in 1995, uh, when we finally joined the European Union and the free world, we had of course uh, the option to join NATO, but uh, the socialists and their left uh, ideological uh, kind of pillar against America, because they see America not as an anti-imperial, anti-colonial power that it is, but as a big empire, because they're all brainwashed by Stalin. The Austrian socialist headed by Heinz Fischer, are very ideological anti-Americans and pro-Soviet. They were always like this, pro-Russian, and they love Russia, and they love all this kind of dictatorial kind of, uh, they say it's maybe necessary to use some means uh, to enforce a better man. That's the ideological core. Ooh, that's it. Now I'm again here behind the truck because the infrastructure is still lacking behind. It could be on the Balkans here as well. But of course, the big advantage here is, you know, they overtake like in the Balkans. The Upper Austrians here, they are not differently than the people from Trenas. You can be sure about it. Whatever is dangerous will be done. Anyhow, that's how it is. I'm carefully gliding towards Passau. I hope I can make it until 4 o'clock to give back my car, but I'm not sure. And if not, there will be a tomorrow and I will be able to return 
all this beauty in the coming days. Now we are heading in the direction of Passau, the NATO city, the first secure city. And we are moral Germany. I'm not very happy with Germany because of the bad government, but Germany in principle, it has the Euro, NATO, OECD, it has a bit too high taxes. But they do, more, and the labor market they have reformed, yeah. Now, of course, minimum wage of 12 euro, that's a bit of a crazy inflationary measure. And of course, the infrastructure is crumbling in Germany. And of course, they buy too much Russian gas, but it's changing. Uh, just a bit tired today. I'm happy when I'm back in the train. I really prefer Schlögen. I think you will soon see very, very nice places and it will be fantastic once we are in this Danube Valley. It's also nice here, but the Danube Valley is something very special. I want to show you that beauty. That's why I went this way and also to wave the NATO flag. Spassa Englert's Zell, they are very good. 20 kilometers still to go. Here we are on the road towards the west, towards NATO security. Yeah, this is how Austria looks like in the countryside. I'm happy I can show you this after many, many hours of uh, motorway videos. I want to use these opportunities and this day to show you also some of the countryside here and some of the most beautiful landscapes in Europe and of course it would be much richer if the labor market would be open a lot of people are blocked from work and then they make wild things in the evening because they are the whole day frustrated because Austrian socialist labor market restrictions and force them not to be able to work and that's of course the socialist philosophy of the labor market having just a limited amount of work as if there would not be more work with more people I don't know how this lies of the socialist can continue when we now are having already 8 billion people and of course most of them are working and able to sustain themselves of course some must be sustained and that's obviously the case but of course there is unemployment and underemployment in some of the less developed countries and even in developed markets there is transitionary unemployment and uh, people who are dropping out of the labor market you know that's all tragic and things can be much better I was actually at the hairdresser today and my hair is very short now this, new, this hairdresser is my favorite one but today he really cut it hard Anyhow, I like it, but I hope I will not get a cold or something. Yeah, here, it's very exciting. People going to Sherding, it's beautiful. Thanks a lot. All the best. Paxa Rubiana. Bye.